suppose you know why Middle Village is called Middle Village, because it is halfway between uh, Williamsburg and Jamaica. When we were researching for the bicentennial, uh, we uh, we found the earliest map that Middle Village is mentioned on. I believe it's 1848. It's in the Brooklyn Historic Society, where Middle Village is called the Middle Village. I kind of think that's fancy. Be one of the few places in the United States still called the. Lucent Cemetery is filled with uh, historical uh, markers. A whole number of Civil War graves, uh, Civil War soldiers buried in uh, uh, the cemetery. In fact, that kind of inspired me. One of the things that inspired me to become, uh, I am a, a professional historian and genealogist, and Lucent Cemetery is one of the little things that ended up inspiring me to take up history as a full-time occupation, uh, even to write my book about uh, Confederate soldiers who were buried not far from us. Geographically, we're surrounded. Uh, the old joke would, would be Middle Village is so exclusive you've got to die to get into it. It, it was safe. Uh, you could be out all night long uh, until mom called you in your time for dinner. Um, the games of stoop ball or uh, punch ball or stick ball that we played, uh, on 74th Street. Uh, they were all fun, uh, fun times. 1948, right after Christmas, we had a blizzard. It was unexpected, and we wound up, I think it was the second or third largest snowstorm New York City ever had. And I remember we got a drift in our backyard uh, where the snow covered all the way up to the roof of the garage. And I remember my brother and I climbing up to the top of the garage, getting on our sleighs, and riding those sleighs all the way out into the middle of 74th Street. <laughs> if my mother was still alive, it would have killed her. <laughs> the Aryan Theater. Um, I mean, a lot of people are going to joke about the Aryan, uh, the itch. Uh, but it was a place to go. Um, my parents were big movie fans, and we would go there every Friday and Saturday when they changed the... Uh, the show. We lived right down the block. I, I miss having a theater in the neighborhood. Gone to St. Margaret's Church for most, most of my life. The priests who were there, uh, Monsignor Cunic, you could tell, you could spend hours talking about some of the, uh, the people who were at the uh, members of St. Margaret's. I like to look back at the uh, Bicentennial, uh, 1976. Uh, we had, Middle Village had a Bicentennial Commission, and uh, being the local history nut, for some reason I wound up being the chairman of the Historic Society. And we had a historic museum, and we set it up on uh, Metropolitan Avenue, uh, in the old, what is now the KFC Hall. And we did that, uh, we asked people for volunteer, uh, to volunteer and to provide us anything they had that brought back memories of Middle Village. And we got everything from um, old uh, programs from the Aryan Theater. Uh, we even had someone who found a cannonball when they dug up uh, Juniper Valley Park. I've lived here all my life. I'm comfortable, um, even though the neighborhood has changed considerably. Uh, the people have changed. It's still a good place to be.